Hello, and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam, and today I want to talk a bit about adjusting to changes in plans, to new information. Um, yeah, it's a thing. It happens a lot, especially around um, the holidays. And it's a great skill to learn how to adjust and adapt and um develop that habit of being able to cope with it, to deal with it. Um, it's one of the things that can lead you to be more flexible and calm. And um, whenever things change, it doesn't have to be a major frustration or irritation. It can be, okay, how can I go with the flow? How can I take advantage of the new information that's come to me? Um, you know, it, it happens so often and we don't even think about it as changes in information. It can happen to your schedule, uh, the location something's happening at. It can be just the expectations of something or the whole scope of work that you're working on. All of those things are, um, what is the right word? My words are not coming this morning. Um, they're susceptible to adjustments and changes and new information. And so getting the stress out of our lives is really about building that resiliency, that um, adaptability as things change. And it's really hard for us as humans. The way our brains actually process information makes it difficult. When things aren't actually killing us, it's hard to make an adjustment on the fly. So just practice. Um, and, and reframe how you think about the interruptions, the changes, the new information. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it'll help you make better decisions in the future. If you decide ahead of time that you are going to learn to deal with it differently, we're back to the pause, right? You're making more informed decisions based on where you're reorienting your process and your location within the process. So yeah, it just saves a lot of time and stress later if you take that pause. Really think about, well, what, what actually changes for this? There's an interruption, but it, did it change anything? Was someone merely expressing their feeling about something and it doesn't change anything to the process? Is it something that now can be delegated because it's become less important that you be the person to do it? Is it something that actually makes it easier? Sometimes the new information, the interruption, makes something part of the process, the project, completely unnecessary. And that's really hard to, to see if all you do is charge ahead, charge ahead, charge ahead without stopping and pausing and looking at what the new input is based on that interruption or change so that the project, the process actually goes more smoothly because all of the details are taken into account. So it saves a lot of stress in the long run. Um, yeah, I love the fact that you might not have to do something at all. If you take on board the new information, um, there was something just the other day. Oh, I had planned to watch something um, on TV and I arranged this whole schedule and I was going to watch this movie and I had planned on it and then it wasn't actually available on the platform anymore. Like I, it was the change of the month and I didn't adapt to the new um platform and I didn't have that platform. So I had to adjust in the moment. But what I did was I found a close replacement for that thing I planned to watch on the platform I already had. And I just, um, I, I do a spinning around of my um, streaming platforms, So I don't have them all at the same time. So I just added it to the list. Next time I'm on a platform, it's there. <laughs> um, but that was new information. I didn't know it was leaving the platform. We never know when the TV is leaving the platform. So just know that it can show up in many different forms, whether it's an entire holiday plan out the window, or if it's something a little more mundane, like a TV program not being available on the channel you thought you were going to watch it on. Um, but also this week, just yesterday, which was seven days before Christmas Eve, we decided to change our entire plan of who's cooking, who's locating, who, what kind of food we're cooking and what time we're all meeting for Christmas day. 
Some people would be very thrown by that. My family has been practicing flexibility for a while, so it's actually making it easier on quite a few people. Um, and, you know, holidays, we got to be flexible. We need to be adaptable. Adaptability and resilience are skills that have to be used regularly. So instead of thinking of every interruption as a frustrating um, thing that stops you in your tracks, instead think of it as an, a, a point to take on new information and adjust and um, perhaps enhance the process you are already undertaking. All right. Happy holidays, merry holidays, all the things, right? We It's upon us. So um, I will see you next week. I actually plan to do a little uh, Christmas morning um, hello to everybody, but I will see you then. And don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, tell all your friends, make some New Year's plans and... Uh, there's some exciting new things coming for me and you in 2024, and I can't wait to share those. But in the meantime, have a delightful day.